So hello, uh, my research focused on trying to bring metamaterials a bit closer to industrial reality. Uh, metamaterials comes from the concept of, what well, we all know from the concept of adding mass spring systems on top of structures that are vibrating. What we do in metamaterials that is different is just adding them in a sub-wavelength scale. In this way, we create frequency regions where no free wave propagation is allowed and we call these stop bands. In these stop bands, what we notice that we have is that we have a large vibration attenuation and a large improvement in sound transmission loss. And to predict where it's gonna happen, represented by these black vertical lines, we use unit cell modeling. So by modeling just one single cell, we can predict where in frequency this stop band is gonna happen. To bring it a bit closer to industrial reality, the first thing that we did was prospect where this could be applied. And uh, during my research, I applied on waveguides, and there I could even combine some stop bands and broaden its effect. I could also use it on a thermoformed panel. On a single panel, this panel was fully made on industry, so we just designed it here and sent it to industry, and industry made it. And we also prospected its use on double panels. On double panels, we have what we call the mass spring mass resonance. This creates a dip on STL, as you can see by the curve there. And using metamaterials, we attenuate it, as you can see by the red curve, that it's largely attenuated. But just knowing where is not, is not enough. We also need to know how this is gonna perform because industry just don't want to spend money at random. So they want to know how and they want to know it in a quick way, at least in a design phase. And that's, how, well, that's the next part of my research where for the waveguides, uh, just by modeling one single unit cell and using the semi-infinite waveguide modeling, I could quite nicely predict the vibration attenuation in waveguides due to the use of metamaterials. On single panels, by adapting the mass law, using formation of modeling just one single cell of the panel, I could quite nicely predict the stop band effect in sound transmission loss. And on double panels, which is a lot more complex structure, Again, by modeling just one single cell, not modeling the whole panel, but just one single cell where the metamaterial is attached, and adapting and using this information on already existing models, I could quite nicely predict the stop band effect also in double panels. Uh, so I hope that my research can bring the metamaterial a bit closer to an NVDA solution, and that's it. Thanks for your attention.